Hi, Libra. This is your reading for the week of September 1st to September 7th, 2017. I am using Orisha tarot cards. That's what they look like here. Okay, Libra. So I remember last week, I'm doing this on the 27th. So I remember like the last half of August, you were dealing with some kind of child abuse situation. So this literally could be the aftermath of that. I don't know. Nobody actually let me know what happened with that. So I don't know who it applied to, but um, that could be anything. It could just be dealing with a, a boss that's not really nice. You know what I mean? But let's see what is going on with you, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for September 1st to September 7th, 2017. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do Celtic Cross. It's just it's easier for some reason. I don't know why. Right here in the center, you have the sign of Virgo. So you may be dealing with a Virgo or you need to come into introspect about something. Um, I do feel like, like I'm getting turned down. I don't know if you want to turn down the TV or the sound or you need to tone down your voice. That could be something that's going on. Or you want somebody to turn down. They could be a Virgo. You may want a Virgo to turn down your voice or your you yourself are maybe your voice is loud. Maybe you're yelling about something and you're very angry about something that could be or in general, you're just very passionate about something. But it seems like you're passionate because I think about this energy here. It's funny. You are very passionate about something, very prideful about something that you want to talk very loudly about. But this Zapana Shapana kind of comes in to say that you're, you're a little shy about it. So it kind of feels like to me that you want to say something to somebody, but you just don't know how to. That's why this energy is here. So either you want to say something to an actual Virgo or you're feeling this way in the sense that, you know, you want to be loud. You want to be out there, but you don't know how to say it to either this person or you yourself just don't know how to say it. It's kind of like it's kind of like you're you're. I don't know what you're doing. Like it's kind of like like sitting in a in a in a relationship that's not good, or sitting in a situation that's not good and not seeing anything. That could be the energy that's coming in here. You could be on the outside looking into it again. You know what I mean? You could be dealing with the sign of this person, or you yourself are kind of like like I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't want any backlash. I don't want them to hate me. You know, I don't want them to hate me. That's what I'm getting off of this card. So something is going on here that you are being asked to be very quiet about. You know what I mean? It could be Virgo. They may be asking you to keep secrets about something. Or you, you in general, are keeping secrets that are literally burning inside of you. I don't know what the hell you're doing. But you could be, you could be the one that's being asked to keep secrets. Not say, be quiet. You know, not saying anything. Right here in the past, you have a message from fire. So it could have been a uh, fire sign energy, Aries, the old Sag, that may have told you to keep quiet about a Virgo. You know what I mean? Or you, you're you being asked to keep quiet in general by a fire sign asks you to not say anything about something. And it could be will. It could be somebody's money, will, inheritance. It could be money left over for somebody with a message from fire. Like they asked you not to say anything. Zapana Shampana is kind of like, you know, I feel bad. You know, I had to do, I had to deal with a lot of karma. I had to deal with a lot of stuff because this person asked me to not say anything. So it literally could be a money situation, could be a child situation. It could be money for a child. You know what I mean? It could be somebody, somebody in turn may have been very nosy. It could have been that maybe a fire sign asked you to not say something to a Virgo about something, either about the, a, a Virgo's past. You know what I mean? So you may be on the in you may be asked by a fire sign okay i'm gonna go like this you may be the one that's being asked by a fire sign not to say anything about a virgo's child abuse situation that may be something that's going on here and maybe that's why this energy is here like i i know i see i saw her or him experience this before but i just don't i just don't want it coming up to the surface you know there's embarrassment i you know there's a little bit of embarrassment in the sense that you you know it, it was childhood you may have seen something that you didn't want to see you know, and you maybe you, you, you're, you may regret not saying anything and it could have to do with money. You know, you may, you saw somebody being handed money that, that it didn't belong to you. You could have saw, you could have seen somebody stealing money or somebody took money from somebody else. Could have been a fire sign. You know, you could have saw, you could have seen this fire sign, take money from a younger person. You know, and you feel bad is what it seems like to me. Take something from a younger person, a toy. I don't know what they did. You know what I mean? Now I'm getting sucking thumb. 
I'm getting that sucking thumb shit again. So it literally feels like maybe this person sucks their thumb a lot, and that and literally could it could that is weird. I know it's weird to say that literally could be a form of like child sexual abuse with the message from fire. Okay, so it's kind of like you know that this Virgo is has dealt with sexual abuse in the past, but this person like you want to confront their fire sign for sure. You want to confront them, and but they you've been asked maybe years ago or months ago not to say anything. I don't know. It's it's strange. If it's not a child abuse situation or any kind of abusive situation, I don't know. You in turn were being asked to keep quiet about money that was owed to a child basically and this burning is literally is the flames like you're burning inside you know it may not it may have been something that you didn't even want to like be involved with to begin with you may have been promised some kind of cut from money that was owed to somebody else that's what it looks like with the message from fire and the hermit card you were asked like you you're gonna get a thousand or two thousand out of this as long as you keep your mouth shut, whatever it is, it's crazy. You know, it's this is crazy. It's a I just heard it's, it, it was a proposition that you were asked to keep quiet about. It was definitely a proposition here coming from this Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, all signs, probably all fire sign energies, may have been a three way partnership here because I, if I look at the flames, it kind of looks like three. So you were asked by all fire signs to keep. You are a part of this fire sign click in terms of. I'm getting money laundering, okay? Money laundering here, whatever the hell is going on there, okay? Your future has the water element. Water element, nurturing, being nurturing, having to be soft with communication. You may you may be tearing up a little bit, whatever is going on here. Um, you may literally be praying or asking God or somebody for forgiveness or somebody else is asking for forgiveness. You could be asking this Virgo for forgiveness. Like, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you say they did this, that, and the third to me when I was little? You know what I mean? That could be what's going on here. So pay attention to your younger siblings, nieces, nephews, etc. Make sure they're not, these things aren't happening to them if they're your kids. I don't feel like they're your kids. I feel like it's a sibling that was abused. Okay. It's a sibling that was being abused. Right here in the overview, you have a message from air, okay? So that is your energy here. However, you are very, your path, this kind of represents to me like your music, you may be musically inclined. You may be learning an instrument that may be something that's going on here. So if I go away from all those other crazy situations that I was dealing with, this may be like maybe someone wants to learn to play an instrument, but somebody can't. <laughs> so I don't know if you can't, you want to learn, somebody else wants to learn. This communication in the past would, might have been some kind of project of some kind. It might have been um, it might have been auditions of some kind. Maybe someone didn't do too well. You know what I mean? It could have been auditions someone didn't do too well in. Maybe right here in the future, it's kind of like you know, are we gonna try again? Let's try again to see if that works. So you may be a, you may be somebody that works with kids, or you are dealing with a sibling with an abusive situation. That could be what's going on here, and you in turn are being asked to be the mother to this person. Okay, maybe the mother of the family it has been asked to be very silent, has been asked to be very quiet. This could actually be your mother right here in the future that you're communicating with. You know, like, why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you say anything? Why, like, why aren't you speaking? I, I look at this card and it kind of looks like a mouth and there's a line co going through. So it's literally like this person, somebody kept their mouth shut for many, many years about something, about somebody's musical abilities. That could be like, I didn't know you knew how to play the guitar or I didn't know you knew how to play the piano, the violin, etc. So it kind of feels like to me that somebody's creative self, either you or this person, I don't feel like it's you, you, eh, this Virgo energy, this Virgo female energy, possibly they are musically inclined. They have a lot of creativity to share, but it might have been damaged because of childhood abuse. You know what I mean? So literally somebody's creative self was trying to burst. I don't know if it's yours or somebody else's. I you want to be a friend, etc. But they feel like maybe somebody took that away from them. You know what I mean? That could be a, that's interesting. It, they yeah, that's really deep though. 
The sun right here in the foundation is kind of like success. It also represents hospital visits and, and, and getting checked up on, like physical checkup of female energy here. So if you are a male, you may be dealing with a female that may have been abused, sexually abused, and maybe, you know, she's asking you to go with her to the hospital, get checked up on here. Or you just feel like maybe you just need to be there for your family, your sister, your nephew, your cousin, whoever this female, this Virgo female is, she's, she's, some memories from the past are creeping up to her and she's literally asking you, you know, can you help me out? Can you, this could literally be therapy or counseling that you're attending with this uh, Virgo energy here. OK, or I don't know if you're the one that needs it. You know, I don't know if you you may need it for something. I don't feel like you're the one dealing with the abuse necessarily. I don't know. Let me know. But it just feels like some someone may need some sort of counseling with the sun and the Virgo energy here. OK, someone needs some kind of therapy counseling uh, because of childhood issues. You know, I'm getting uncle. Now I'm getting uncle. So maybe there may um, uncle may have involved with something. Okay. All right. So I am going to clarify Zapana Chapana and all the other cards that we have here. The message from fire. The message from air. You got a lot of messages. You got a lot of listening to do. The water element. A lot of hidden, a lot of t uh, tears is what I'm getting. Someone could have, yeah, for sure. The sun. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Uh, Libra, right here in the center with the hermit card, you have the guardian angel. So yeah, you are being asked to be this person's guardian angel, like I was saying before. I'm getting a company accompany this person to a gynecology, a gynecologist appointment. Okay, damn, 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 damn. I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'm just, I'm getting something crazy. The guardian angel and the Virgo energy, here is like being a company to get checked up on to see if you're physically okay so it could be a situation where someone may have slept with somebody else and they got something and that may be why you know you're being asked or somebody's asked to go to the hospital or to get checked up on equal in the sun is kind of like I, I can't believe this i can't believe this is here you know and it could be it could be a baby. It could be a surprise pregnancy here. That may be what you're being asked not to talk about with the uh, the Virgo energy and the guardian angel. It could be a secret pregnancy, a secret child that maybe you don't want the dad to know. You know, the Virgo energy could be a dad, you know, that you're not ready to tell the dad yet. It could be, if you are the female, you don't want to tell your boyfriend that you're pregnant yet. And the guardian angel could be his mother is like literally manipulating the situation saying you're not ready to be a father yet. That is literally what that could look like. If not, this message from fire and dwarves and gnomes right here in the past is kind of like, you know, I wanted to be free. I wanted my freedom. I want my freedom back. <laughs> you want your freedom, creativity back or somebody else does. This You got a lot of earth energy. You got some earth energy, a lot of air energy going on here. That's why I heavily feel like you're dealing with a Virgo energy here. Okay, so I, this person feels like something was literally taken from them. Could be virginity. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could be virginity was taken away from someone too young. I'm going to say it was taken away too young. The water element and the four of air here is kind of like depression and sadness because somebody's not talking right here in the future, or at least somebody needs to talk. This won't happen. This, this being locked up in the brain head, you know what I mean? It This doesn't have to happen as long as like something is said, you know, as long as this kind of opens up. You know what I mean? As long as it open, it kind of feels like if you're female, it kind of feels like getting a pap smear done. This kind of feels like pap smear to me a little bit. And it's kind of like, you know, it's, 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 these are checkups that I feel like are needed to be had. If you are male, this could be your female partner that is dealing with this. Okay. It could have been your female partner could have separated from you at one point in time. I'm going to say she may have slept with somebody else and, and I don't know, got something. You know what I mean? The four of air in the future is kind of like, why did you cheat to begin with? You know, like it's like it's like being tough on somebody that made and made an obvious mistake, but they didn't necessarily mean to. You know what I mean? So there's a, there's some interesting energies going on here. I'm going to look to see what 
the um, outcome is here. If this is a job, if this is a job situation, someone could have left the job because I don't know, like I'm getting something was too easy. Something was too easy. I don't know if it's like a person. I don't know if, if you're a dude or somebody. I don't know if you're that dude that feels like a female. They say easy. They, they, the term easy represents someone who's sexually sexually vulnerable, very sexually vulnerable. So I don't know if somebody, I don't know, if you're a male and you think a female is easy, that could be what's going on here. That may be coming back on you again. So it may be something literally from the past creeping up that your friends or whoever asks you to keep quiet about. But that's coming out with the fourth air and the water element. Could be coming from a water sign energy. You know, like stay stay away from her. Kind of stay away from her. Stay away from him. I don't know. That it literally feels like. Like it feels sexual, it feels like abuse of some kind coming back into the picture again. So just be careful who you decide to, I don't know, live with people, I don't know, who you're living with that that maybe you don't know about somebody's past. They could have done something in the past. You know, it could have been water energy because I was getting last, like the other half of August, like the last part of August, I was getting like a water sign energy wasn't really being too open with you. Okay, somebody wasn't being too open with like their past, like what they did. They did something. They did something in the past. I'm gonna look to see what the um outcome is here, Libra. What is the outcome for Libra? Sun, moon. Oh, wow. Sun, moon, and rising. What is the outcome for Libra? What is the outcome, Libra? What is the outcome for Libra? Sun, moon, and rising with this uh, spread here. All right, Libra, so your outcome has Oba. So I'm getting pressing charges. So you may be pressing charges against somebody that has done something to your sibling. I don't know, to you. I don't know what is going on here, but it literally could be like you need to call the authorities. Like you need to say something to somebody, okay? So something is going on um, with a, a person or a child. You know, something's going on. Something's going on here, okay? Let me do one more outcome on the Oba to see what the hell is going on. Oba has a leba. So this is group collaboration, work. Okay, this could be a work environment. Maybe somebody in a work environment is saying that they, I don't know, saying RAP, all right? Somebody got, something happened to somebody in the workplace. They may be coming to you as, you know, for help. Okay, that may be something that's going on here. Like, you know, I, I try to do, what is this? I try to do something, right? Or I try to do something. But Aleba, Aleba usually represents the work environment, but it also kind of feels like maybe, maybe there's a female. This Oba is a female. And this, these, and this, on this card kind of feels like three males. So it literally could have been a female in between th three males, but it feels like a sexual situation. I'm just going to leave that right there. Okay. So somebody needs to say something. In general, I don't know what's going on. Please let me know what's going on here and how I can help you. Okay, Libra? So take care and have a blessed week. At the end of this reading, there will be a card to explain how to hit me up for private readings or help with anything you have going on here. Okay, Libra? So take care and be well. Bye.